Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to an August garden tour. So today we are going through the garden. Things are on the struggle bus so hard. It is not even funny. August in Alabama is hot, 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 and I am just not doing it. So we've been hanging out inside and letting the garden just do its thing. We'll see how it comes back together next month, but I will still walk you through, show you what is struggling, what is not struggling, and uh, where we're hoping things are going for next year. So well, let's get started down by the shed. All right, y'all. So my beautiful twist and shout hydrangea is doing well. It still has quite a few blooms. It's putting out new growth. My uh, Texas sage, look how much taller they are. When we planted them, they were here. So they have probably put on a third of size. Finally came in and reshaped my rose standard. So only have a few blooms on them right now because we cut off 90% of the buds to shape them. But they will put out new growth in no time. My big twist and shout put on a lot of growth and a lot of blooms this year. He was... I mean, everything over here was new, this whole area. And then my uh, Rose of Sharon. I mean, it's all coming together. We're not going to really worry about going down towards the shed because everything down there is kind of on the struggle bus. It all needs work. All the, the raised beds need work. The heat just really got to everything. You can see that my knockout roses are doing well in the heat and my piggy martin rose look at all those runners it really needs to be wound back up on the fence but it's doing well my oak leaf hydrangea here is doing well and my butterfly bush moms are putting out new growth cone flowers probably need to be cut back they bloomed like crazy this season but you know, I'll take it. Up around this side, the salvia is still blooming. My one, one petunia is doing decent. And then the impatience, this one doing fine, but the other two are struggling really hard. And a few of my foxgloves have been blooming this month, which is fun. Although all of the, uh, lilies are done for the season and probably should be cut back but you want that green to really store all the energy for next season's bulbs so I typically leave them till they die back some kind of something that's on this one maybe a spider nest of some kind yay my wisteria on on deck for this week is to deal with all the runners that you can see that it's put out now it is really growing a lot on its own and making its way up in the tree which was the goal but look at all these runners they need, need a little help going up towards the tree as well as the ones down here and then I have quite a few just all these self-seeded zinnias that are a hot mess and honestly I've just left them The pollinators love them, and with how hot it's been this year, the ones I planted in the garden bed are struggling, but the ones that have planted themselves are fine. Ooh, do you see that hummingbird? So, while the garden is struggling from all the heat, there's still pollinators, there's still birds and hummingbirds and see the box gloves and the salvia over here so there's still life it's just this is always the hardest time of the garden is the end of July beginning of August so salvias still looking pretty my uh, verbena which was great at the beginning of spring and hasn't really bloomed the rest of the season is putting out new buds 
all of my foxgloves in here are just scorched horribly and they may not come back next year even though they're supposed to be two-year bloomers they bloomed this year they should bloom next year but they look I mean they look scorched earth so we'll definitely reseed um, and start in our milk jugs a whole new group here so the lantana I wanted something you know I planted these looking for something that would really do well in the heat because this spot is full sun and they I'll tell you I planted three because I planted two super tunias here last year and they couldn't handle it and three I, I could have done two so we might move that third one back here to a different spot next year because these are perennials but I'm happy with them look how big and beautiful and green they are if we had more of this and some of these really hot spots things like the zinnias and super tunias that are supposed to be able to handle the heat are just not just not cutting it and these look green and lush and are blooming their heads off. So, you know, Lantana loves the heat. Crepe myrtles are also loving the heat, blooming. Blooming. Very, very pretty. Love that. Porch all needs cleaned. Um, but we, we cut back a lot this week, including these guys, which they had green and blooms on them, but they just were on the struggle bus so hard. And I'm not seeing any life coming back to them. So I think we're going to replace these two with mums for fall and winter. And that'll be better. So the verbena here has been blooming all season. So I really liked that choice. Um, and my twist and shout here is putting out new buds. So that's nice. I think for this crepe myrtle, I really want it to be a tree. I don't love all these lower branches. So I think this fall, I'm going to come through and clip off a few of these uh, branches that come right out here and are really low and encourage the upward branches. So these little comb flowers are still doing well. A few self-seeded vincas from a couple years ago, uh, you know, they can, if they can live, they can live. <laughs> Two lantanas, no blooms on them, but you know, they're still green and pretty and I'll take it. The gumfrina, I think finally, I'll come in and cut it back, but I think it's finally uh, just pooping out for the season. Butterfly bush is still blooming, but not as much as it was earlier in the season. That's okay. We probably need to deadhead that as well. You know, we did a lot of weeding and cutting back over here this week. And uh, there's definitely growth, green growth from last week on all these things. So hopefully these will fill back in before the end of the year. But if not... No, we'll see, but Lantana, Lantana, so big and green, even with no blooms on it. Everything down here is struggling. We cut back all these zinnias, and I don't think they'll come back. This salvia definitely needs cut back, but he's bloomed consistently for us all season. Everything down here just looks so, like, spindly and not happy, except for the impatience. Definitely need more of those next season. We've got a giant weed back here, though. How did we miss this? All right. Literally giant. Right in front of the hummingbird we put up here. <laughs> eh, you know. Foxtail ferns are doing well. We need to come through all of these cyclamen that are doing super well putting out leaves and should bloom for us in the fall but then there's there's weeds in amongst them and I haven't really been down here to try to weed this area so I probably need to come spend a little time here but like you can just see all those tubers we planted and then these are 
plants, tubers, tubers, plants, tubers, plants, tubers. So there's, I mean, there's leaves all the way around. We have the plants put off these hot pink, beautiful blooms. And then the tubers put off little light purple fairy-like blooms. So, you know, those will just keep naturalizing in this area with the peonies. Between the peonies, the foxtail ferns, and the cyclamen tubers, my whole shade garden is looking really fun. Of the foxtail ferns we planted last year, two of the six survived, and then we replanted this one this year. So I'd like to plant another couple in here this fall, but we'll see. Yeah, the Vitex is doing really well. Hopefully it will bloom for us soon. Hasn't bloomed all season, but it's his first round. And this is all new growth. I mean, he was down here last year, so he's doubled in size. I'll take it. I will take it. You can see we cut back most of the window boxes. That third window box if you caught that video, it has a wasp nest in it. And I finally got wasp spray. So there you go. Obviously, things are on the struggle bus, but we are going to start doing a little bit of love, a little bit of new planting, cutting back for fall. And, you know, overall, the garden did beautifully this year. And if it just peters out in the heat heat of the end summer I'm not going to complain I enjoy it way too much for that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video even if it was short and sweet and I will see you next month and we'll see what we have started for fall bye y'all